chunking down. Part of the NLP and language series from Zetetic Pioneering Strategies. NLP chunking can be chunking up, chunking down or chunking across. There's two more videos after this one. One of them is about chunking up and the other one is about chunking across. This one is about chunking down. In NLP, all of this chunking business is also known as the hierarchy of ideas or levels of abstraction. In this video, I'll be talking about number one, what is chunking down? Number two, some questions you could ask if you wanted to chunk down. Number three, some words to look out for. Four, what kind of people chunk down? Five, how to use chunking down. And number six, a warning. Through the process of chunking down, we become more and more specific. So this is associated with the NLP meta model. There are many videos in our language series about the meta model. This is about more detail, more concrete. So the sorts of questions that you might want to ask if you wanted to chunk down would be something like, what specifically? How specifically? Where specifically? Who specifically? Or when specifically? or find your own ways of saying that, if that's not your sort of language. Or you might say something like, how do you know that? Or, what's a good way of doing that thing? You're really looking for facts, information, evidence. You're really looking for evidence rather than opinion here. And the sorts of words that you might use might be exactly, precisely, what are the components of that, or if I were to do that, what order would I do those things in? It's all about detail, detail and detail. And you're looking for missing information, what's not being said here, what's missing, what do I not know? You're looking to clarify meaning and to, to define through discovering smaller and smaller chunks of data. Now, you may know some people like this, who when they tell you a story, tell you everything that they tell you in excruciating detail and chronological order. This is somebody operating from a very chunked down perspective in their lives and many people do. And what you probably notice with those people who speak in that kind of detail and in that kind of this happened and then this happened and then this happened and then at five past ten this happened, what you'll probably notice as well is if you in interrupt them they actually have to go back to the beginning. They'll tend to say oh Oh, what was it I was saying? Oh yes, when I got up and then they say it all again because the way that it is in their minds is in that detail and in that chronological order. Now, <clears throat> why would you use chunking down? What's it good for? It's very good if you're feeling overwhelmed. If at all you're feeling overwhelmed, probably what's happening is that you're trying to think about the thing that you're thinking about in too big a chunk. So the thing about chunking, chunking up, chunking down, chunking across, in this case, chunking down, is that it's not just what comes out of your mouth, it's also what are you doing inside your head? Like, are you thinking of things in big chunks or small chunks? So if you're somebody who tends to think in a very big, expansive kind of way, that might be sometimes overwhelming for you or for somebody else if you're working with them. Secondly, you might want to use chunking up 
to work out how to achieve that big vision. So maybe there is a big idea or a big vision, but how is that going to be achieved? And you might say, how specifically is that going to be achieved and in what order? You might also want to have a sense of matching somebody else's chunk size. So if somebody else talks to you in a lot of detail when they speak, they will also be interested in detail when you speak. So from a rapport point of view, you can be interested in the detail of what they're saying and you can also expect them to ask you something about the detail of what you're saying. Also, of course, people may go into more detail if they share some knowledge of a subject. So think sports, cars, philosophy, natural history, anything. Once people share um, an interest and some knowledge in a particular subject, they're more able to chunk down specifically than they would be with people who didn't also have that knowledge. However, and this is the warning, more knowledge, more detail, potentially more conflict. Because there's plenty of scope for disagreement if people have quite a lot of knowledge of a subject and they have opinions about it um, and they're speaking with somebody else who has knowledge about it. So beware, too much chunking down may result in disagreement. We'll work out what to do about that sort of disagreement in the next video, which is called Chunking Up. When you use any of these NLP language patterns, remember the rigor model. That's the zetetic rigor model, which is about recovering information and generating experiential richness. If you like this video, please like it. Please comment or ask a question, and I would be delighted if you chose to subscribe.